Hello, students. Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in to the Sweet Sounds of Reading TV. Now, my name is Tudor Vanessa, and it's my job to make sure that you're able to break down the sounds inside of any words so that you can read anything. So with that being said, let's um, do a, a recap about um, the class that we're going to take today. We're going to talk about crazy. We're going to continue to talk about crazy mixed partners. Now, crazy mixed partners, at first glance, they might look like a bunch of um, difficult sound out rules that you're going to have to remember. But don't fret, because there's a method to the madness. So, and even though there are nine different um, partners that you're going to have to learn the sounds, they only make five really distinct or really um, easily easy to remember sound patterns, okay? And the sounds are a, ah, u, oi, ow, and o. Oh. All right, so, so far we've learned the first three sets. And in today's class, we're going to learn about the crazy mix um, partner sound, the crazy mix partners that make the owl sound. All right. So let's jump in today's, in today's, blah, let's jump into today's class. How about that? All right. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to listen closely to the very first sounds you hear in the word, ouch. Say that word, ouch. And what are the first two sounds you hear in, ouch? You hear the letter O sound, ah, and you hear the wind sound. It's very soft, but right? So let's repeat this new partner sound three times. Ow, ow, ow. Do it again. Ow, ow, ow. Good job, good job. All right. What we're going to learn before we get really get into the class, we're going to learn a um an action sound movement, all right? So this is what I want you to do. I want you to practice um, this sound by pretending that you're pinching yourself really hard. Just pretend, don't do it, don't do it too hard, right? So I want you to pinch yourself like the picture that you see on, on your screen here. And I want you to imagine saying, ouch, ouch. Now what, um, what this is, this sound movement is an action clue. And it's a reminder to help you remember how to sound out the um, partner sounds that make the owl, um, that make the owl sound that we're going to learn today. And if there are any parents or reader teachers in the room, this is something that I want you to focus on. While you're working with your student and you don't want to give them the answer, but if they get stuck on one of these owl partner sounds, just do the movement. You know, just pretend that you're pinching yourself and they'll go, oh, yeah, I know what that is. That's owl. All right. Okay. So, on your screen here are two crazy mixed partner sound pictures. You see the sound picture OU and you see the sound picture OW. All right. Now, there's something else about these um, crazy mixed partner sounds, OU and OW. They're copycat sounds. And by copycat, what I mean is that they both make the very same sound, ow, like you hear an ouch. So you're going to learn today that whether or not a, a word, is the, the ow partner sound is spelled OU, ow, or OW, ow. They copy off each other because they both make the very same sound. All right. Let's see. Let's test this and see how this works, all right? So I want you to listen for the ow sound as we practice sounding out these words together in class today. All right. The very first word um, that you see on your screen here is pow, right? Now, let me just back up a second. Remember in all of our classes, what's, um, what symbol does the heart represent? When you see a heart under, um, uh, under a word, what does, that, what does that mean? It's a partner sound, right? So... In the very first word, pow, right? You see the O-W partner sound? You see the heart? That's your clue that it's a partner sound. Ow, right? Pow. And remember, and I remember back in the old Batman movies, or, you know, um, Batman, would, when he would punch somebody or Robin, they would go pow. They'd make that pow noise. Okay. All right. So let's look at its copycat. The very next word is loud you say it loud and notice in the word loud the partner sound ow is spelled o-u as as opposed to pow is spelled o-w but remember they're copycats they make the same sound let's look at the third one ow ow that partner o-w says ow an owl is an animal or a bird that says ooh, ooh. 
Good job, all right? And the last one, we're going back to the O-U um, spelling. And that's noun. You said noun. What's a noun? It's the name of a person, place, or thing. So as you can see, the owl, crazy mixed partner, can be spelled either O-W or O-U. Good job. All right. Moving right along. So now we're going to get into the homework. So remember, practice makes perfect. Perfect. So I want you to practice, practice, practice. So in this part of your homework um, activities, you're going to sandwich the partner. We're going to make word sandwiches, sound out sandwiches. And the SOS steps, which stands for sound out steps for word sandwiches, is number one, you're going to underline the partner. Number two, you're going to sandwich that partner between the sound on the left and the sound on the right. All right. So step number one, I've done a, f a, a few for you in class today, but when you get your homework, there's a whole sheet of words that I want you to practice sounding uh, or, or um, sandwiching the partner and sounding out that um, word sandwich. All right. So we underline the OW, which makes the partner out, and you sandwich between the D and the, the N. The letter D says D. The letter N says N. Down. You sound out that sandwich, right? Let's do the second one. The very first step you're going to do is what? You're going to underline the partner, O U, OW. And then you're going to make a word sandwich by looking for the sound on the left, which is the letter L, which says O, and the sound on the right, which is the letter D, which says D, right? So if you sandwich those, that, that partner between those two sounds, the word is loud, all right? Let's try the third one. Now, remember, when you're sandwiching the partner, the very first thing you want to do is identify the sandwich only and add any extra sounds after the fact. All right, so the very first step you're going to do is you're going to underline the partner, ow. And then you're going to you're going to look for the sound on the left, which is the R, er, and you're going to look for the sound on the right, which is n. Mm. Now, remember, we're only sounding out that word sandwich. We're going to add all the extra stuff after the fact, all right? So the word sandwich is round. Round. And we have another sound, right? We have the letter B. So we're going to add the B to the round sandwich. We're going to blend it all together really smooth. It's going to be brown. Like how now, brown cow? Brown. Good job. So again, that's a part of your homework. There's a whole sheet of pages so you can get a lot of practice, okay? Um, more homework. This is um, part two of the sandwich, um, the partners, all right? But it's a little more advanced, but I think you can handle it. There's a couple of things I want to call to your attention. The, 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 now, in these partners, these more advanced words, they're, all, they're going to be two partners, all right? And they're probably going to be two sandwiches, two word sandwiches. And also, I want you to remember the um, signal vowel partner rules that you learned back in class number 37. And the signal vowel partner rule goes something like this. Stop if you see a letter C. Look for a signal vowel. What are the three signal vowels? E, I, or Y. And listen for its sound change. Because if E, I, or Y follows C, what happens to the letter C? It turns into the letter S. So there are signal vowel partners. So when you do the um, this part of your homework, the more advanced, just remember um, remember those rules, okay? Good job. Moving right along. More homework, and this is just the eye tracking part of your homework, where you're going to using your eyes only, right? You're going to you're going to track from the the reading direction from the left to the right, and you're going to just be moving your eyes across the page as you sound out the partners and or the word that features today's partner sound out. All right, so let's do that. Let's do it in class together. Okay, starting here. Ready? Go. Ow, loud. Ow, brown. Ow, pout. Ow, town. Ow, good job. And the second part of this activity is, is where we take away the lines and we just do it one more time. So you can do that part um, at home, okay? So again, it's eye tracking, strengthening your eye muscles. And now we're going to, now um, you're going to do the printing and writing portion of your homework. We're, remember, what we're doing here is we're practicing good handwriting or good penmanship. So you remember the the, the sky fence line, um, or I'm sorry, the sky fence ground lines activity. That's what I want you to visualize. We learned that way, way back when. So we, we want you to write perfect shaped letters, okay, utilizing these three lines. All right, so that's the printing 
um, part, of, part of your homework. And then you're just going to do the same thing again. Only this time you're going to do it in cursive. All right. Big ups. Good job. All right. So now more homework. Now you're going to see with your mind's eye, that third eye, that right here. You're going to see with your mind's eye and you're going to listen for the sound, how many sounds that you um, hear and the sound types. Okay. So what's going to happen is this part of your homework is twofold. It's two parts. The very first thing you're going to do, you're going to sound out the word. And the featured word today is couch. Couch. Look at that word, couch. Okay, now I want you to work with me here. Close your eyes. Everybody, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. How many sounds are you hearing? Couch. I hear the couch. Open your eyes. Four. You hear four sounds because remember the OU partner sound makes two sounds. Even though, um, even though that, that wind sound is really, really soft, but it's out, out. Oh, right. So there's four sounds in couch. And the second part where you're going to do in your homework, not only are you going to count the number of sounds that you can hear. And remember, you're going to practice um, listening and using that, that your mind's eye. You're also going to write the sound types. For instance, in the word couch, there's a bounce sound, a partner sound and another partner sound. All right. So again, that is part of your homework. More homework, and this is where you get to play a game. You get to play, make some flashcards, okay? And you can play the memory game or go fish or just use these cards to help you become a better speller. And what you're going to notice is that on each and every card, I left you a little tip, a little clue. I left you the owl, you know, action clue reminder. So what you're going to do is you're going to ask a parent or a reader teacher to make two copies of this page on thick paper and then, you know, do your stuff. All right. Good job. All right. Let's see what the next homework activity. Oh, this is an easy. This is an easy peasy. So what you're going to do is this a word search. And this particular word search features the owl spelled O-W words. Owl. Okay. So that's simple enough, right? Alrighty then, moving right along. More homework. You got a lot. See, I remember we talked about how practice makes perfect. So you need to practice, practice, practice. So you can be the best speller, reader. Right, at all. So this is riddle. So what you're gonna do is you're going to um, use the words from the word box to solve the riddles. We'll do the first one together in class. A queen wears one of these. What am I? A crown, right? A crown. All right. So again, you do your homework, get your homework packets, solve the riddles. Good job. Good job. Good job. Now you get to be a writer, okay? All right? Let's see how creative you can be in making up a short story. Now, the name of the story that I want you to um, make up is called Brown Cow in the House. Brown Cow in the House by, you're going to write your name on the byline, okay? So, again, as, a, as an added little challenge, use as many owl words you can in the story that you're going to make up about the brown cow in the house okay so have fun with that good job all right moving right along so we've learned today that the, the partnering or the pairing of um o and u when they come together they make the owl sound but sometimes sounds clown around and remember a clown sound is when a, a letter sound or, or a partner sound is clowning around it's not saying the sound that it should be making so Using the sound out clues that I provided for you, and what and look at this clue. I'm letting you know there's a clowning partner because remember a heart represents a partner sound, and in the center of that partner sound, I put a clown symbol, right? So I'm letting you know that this word, the um, O U partner that should say ow, is saying you. Oh, I just told you the answer. <laughs> it's saying ooh, but anyway, so this word is you, you, and then you. The O-U uh, partner sounds clowning around, saying ooh instead of ow. All right. And the reason I wanted to call that to your attention so that you can do this next part of your homework, whereby you're going to be re practice reading these sentences that feature today's featured ow sound. However, there are a couple words in here where the O-U partners clown around saying ooh. All right. So, again, that is part of your homework. So. Now it's time to show your stuff, show your letter sound out skills. Now this um, activity, there's going to be four different practice um, sets. 
that you're going to um you're going to be working with a parent or reader teacher on and remember to I want you to stay I want everybody to stay in the game so to make this more interesting and or, and to keep your attention I need you to um you read a word and then you have your mom or your dad or or reader teacher read a word you read a word then they read a word and always remember to use each and every word in a sentence because we don't just want you to be able to be a, a word caller we want you to understand what you're reading okay so we want you to your your comprehension or your your level of understanding we want to get we want you to be deep all right so that's that's practice set number one now in practice set number two more of the same you're just gonna you read a word and then you have the reader teacher read a word etc etc now you'll notice that the second part of um practice set number two the words are a little more challenging just challenging but they're doable that means that for those of you that know the letter sound clues or codes, that's you. These words are going to be easy peasy. Just take your time. And if you have any kind of problems, get some scratch paper and use one of the many tools that you've learned up until this point to um, help you sound out a word. Okay. Now let's see. Um, practice set number three. Again, the words are a little, little more challenging. But again, for those that know the codes, there's no such a thing as a word too hard to read. All right. Now, practice set number four just features words, all the words in this um in this group. There's a there's a clown sound. And what I've done for you ahead of time, I've gone and I've underlined the word the the letter I should say that's clowning around. So if you need any help, um, and you are you you're not sure what the clown sound is, just ask your um parent or your reader teacher to help you out. Okay. Good job. And again, remember to use the words in a sentence. All righty then. Okay. So now we're at the letter sound codes countdown clock. All right. As of today, including today's two partner sounds that you learned, the owl, um, crazy mix partners, you've learned a total of 68 letter sound codes. Say that again. 68. You've learned 68 letter sound codes. And we only have... 35 to go. I remember when we first started off, we first started off, um, we were at the 103 mark. We had to learn 103 um, letter sound codes. You've learned 68. And let's look at the clock here. So we've tick, 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 learned our way all the way up to 68. So we're right here on the letter sound um, codes clock. We're doing big things. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Well, so now we're at the portion of the class where I need you to give Tutor Vanessa a grade. Give me a hand, right? If you learned something today, something new today, or if you've heard something that you're sure that you know that could help somebody else, I need you to pick up the phone, send them the text, and let them know about these free private reading classes. But enough about them. What about me? I need you to hit that like button to let me know that you think I'm doing a good job. And also, if you haven't done so already, if there are any parents or reader teachers in the room, please be sure to subscribe to the channel so you'll be one of the first ones to know whenever a new class becomes available. All right. Thanks for that. I really appreciate your cooperation. So with that all being said, before you go. I want you to remember these quick things. I want you to remember that practice makes perfect, all right? So I want you to please practice the crazy mix partner sounds that you learned today that makes the ow sound, all right? And the reason practice is so important because you need to know these letter sound codes. And for children who know the letter sound codes, sky's the limit. There's no such thing as a word that's too hard to read. So... With that being said, thank you for um, taking the time to, to take this class with me today. And I look forward to seeing you in the next class. Bye for now.